Hi everybody, this is Pastor Susan and welcome to a new week of devotions as we are continu continuing our sermon series, The We Factor, thinking about the importance that community plays in your life and in mine. And this week we're thinking about how that really lives itself out in our lives. And uh, so today we're going to begin by talking a little bit about how the journey of life in, is, is a journey and in that journey you and I need each other. We really do need each other. Um, I was remembering uh, one of the Pilgrim stories from a couple of weeks ago where Phyllis Reed was talking about her experience um, in the Holy Land and how she got lost and um, how it felt to be reunited with those who were traveling with her, those who were on pilgrimage with her. In fact, um, as she um, she got found and, and we were re reunited, we were all clapping and she felt so surrounded uh, by love and support. And uh, we're going to talk a little bit about that today because in, it's kind of countercultural um, to the environment that we live in America where um, uh, we talk about the individual so much and community is not um, emphasized as much. We think that we need to pull ourselves up from our own bootstraps. We might even be... Um, more comfortable being by ourselves. I mean, I do know in my own life, there are times when, um, as much as I love community, there are times when I need that time alone, um, just to be with myself and to be with God. And, and that's okay. That's important that we have that time in our lives, but it does not negate our need for community. We were created, um, for community as, um, Joe Michaels uh, told us a few couple of weeks ago, we were created to be in relationship with one another, and God uh, wants that for our lives. And so a passage of scripture that I want to share with you today comes from uh, the book, it's the letter to the Colossians, and it's verses 6 through 7. Listen to these words. As you have therefore received Christ Jesus as Lord, Continue to live your lives in Him, rooted and built up in Him and established in the faith, just as you were taught, abounding in thanksgiving. In this passage of scripture, it reminds us that we were created to be in community, that we learn by being in community from one another, that we grow in our faith and in uh, the practice of that faith, the demonstration of the love of God that we know in Christ Jesus by being in community. And so um, one of the key ways that we know this is just from life experience, right? And there's some really practical reasons why community is so important to us, very practical reasons, um, that walking alone is not necessarily the smartest way to live. Um, in fact, you need others to walk with you through life, not just practically on a, you know, an alley, in a dark alley at night. But, but one of the things that we know that is as we are in relationship, as we are going through life, walking together with others, we do know it's safer. Um, it's safer that we walk through life with others, that we have the counsel of friends and people who've lived a little bit longer than we have that can help us when we go through difficult and dark times of our lives. Um, it's also important that we find the support that we need. Uh, there's an old Zambian proverb that says, when you run alone, you run fast. But when you run together, what happens? You run far. Um, life is not a 50-yard dash. It's a marathon. And only if you, you're only going to finish the race well and not burn out by, is by having other people um, involved in your life in meaningful relationships. The third thing about this is that it truly is a smarter way for us to live. Uh, we learn more by walking with others than we do by ourselves. Uh, there's a proverb, Proverbs 28, 26, that says, Whoever trusts in his own mind is a fool. <laughs> Love it. Um, in other words, if you're the only one who thinks that nobody agrees with you by walking, you're walking in the wrong direction. Uh, when you walk by yourself through life, you don't have anybody to go. Uh, we're off the path. 
how to get back on the path and go in the right direction. Um, Ephesians 4.16 says, as each part does its own special work, it helps the other parts grow so that the whole body is healthy and growing full of love. So having other people in our lives, I mean, it seems like it's, it's smart to just think about the importance of that. Having other people in our lives is so beneficial, uh, especially as we are seeking to follow the way of Jesus. You know, I find it fascinating that in uh, Scripture, Jesus didn't just go off on his own. He surrounded himself with 12 others that he could mentor and also draw support from. They were his friends. They were people that he loved, that he built relationships with. And because of those relationships, they became the ones who were sent out to continue his work in the world. That's the same thing for you and for me. So today, my prayer for us is that we will consider those people that God has placed in our lives, or perhaps if we don't have anybody remembering that this is part of the journey of faith that you and I are called to. Maybe so. Think about this this day. Who are the five or six people in your life that you count as people that you're on the journey of life with? Reach out to them. Let them know that you are there for them and give thanks to them for being there for you. Maybe so today. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Thank you.